What's up guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at my Recon Modular Harness System, or my Recon, how I've got it set up right now, and then we're gonna talk about some of the accessories and features of it. So we were out in the field this morning, as you see it right now is how I've been wearing it, but as we were packing up before I took it off, I thought, let me show you guys some of the other accessories and talk about some of the best uses for them. I've almost always got all my accessories with me, uh, either in my Atlas or in my pack with me. Um, and so we're gonna roll through those real quick. So if you're not familiar with the recon system, there's three different accessories that hook up using Molly. You got your rangefinder pouch, what we call our utility pouch, and then you've also got a bear spray pouch. Now we're not in bear country right now, so I don't have a bear spray pouch with me, uh, but it's a really simple concept that it attaches using Molly. And we'll talk about some of the options for hooking that up. Now most people set their rangefinder pouch in place and they set a utility pouch on the opposite side. You don't have to do that, but in most cases, once those are set, they're set. You're not really gonna move your, or your rangefinder very often. You're always gonna want a small utility pouch for your accessories. I've got some calls, uh, you know, your wind checker, things like that that'll fit in there. You're always gonna kinda wanna have that for immediate access. So what ends up getting swapped out more than anything is the Velcro accessories. So there's also three Velcro accessories, which is our quick case, then we've got a molly panel, and we've got a hand warmer. We're gonna talk about the three of those. So the first one we're gonna look at is the quick case. I'm gonna show you, you can actually remove these and swap them out without taking the harness off altogether. So the quick case here, tends to work really well for a few different things. For one, it happens to work really well for sunglasses. So if you're a sunglasses guy and you wanna keep them protected, there's a little bit of padding in here, but they also work well for like rolling up a pair of gloves, stuffing those in there, or camera batteries, snacks, power bars, anything like that. And again, you can see I just took it off in like two seconds and I can toss it aside and we can look at the next accessory, which would be our Molly panel. So the Molly panel's in main intent or main purpose was really to allow you to hook up a holster so you can carry a sidearm when you're in bear country or predator country in general if you wanna carry a sidearm. So when you buy this from us, this is what you get, but this is what you can do with it. So I've got my SIG here, and what I'm doing here is I, I purchased a holster that we don't make from you know a variety of different companies. Our favorites are G-Code, Alien Gear, um, Safari Land, they all make great Molly hookup options. And so if you can see in there, it's just a simple attachment system that uses that Molly panel. And then I can very simply and quickly add this to my recon system. Now it is best, that's gonna be a little bit awkward. It is best to hook this up when you're not uh, wearing the harness, but you can get it in there. Now for a sidearm, I'm gonna want it more secure than that. So I'd probably take it off and do that properly, but I'm showing you how quickly and easily you can change these accessories out. The last one that we're gonna look at is gonna be our hand warmer. So before I put on the hand warmer, one thing that I want to acknowledge here is that the hand warmer does come with a waist strap. So the waist strap will be in this pocket, that pocket then can then be used for whatever you want. Same thing, accessories, snacks, or hand warmers. So if you have the, uh, the little breakable hand warmers, you can keep some in there so you can put them in the hand warmer itself and be extra warm. So when I'm gonna wear it, as a, uh, a waist belt accessory. We got a little piece of Velcro there to pin that down and get it out of the way. And then I'm just gonna simply run the strap that it comes with through the two Molly tabs on the back here. And then I can just wear it as a really simple waist belt. And so what's cool about that is for one, if you wanna carry it lower down here, you just can, but that'll also now allow me to utilize more of the accessories for the recon system all at once. So if I wanna run my quick case down there, I can do that and I can run my hand warmer down there. But one more thing is I can double up on these. So because I have front and back Velcro on all of these pieces, if I want, I can run two of the Velcro accessories at the same time. So the way you see it there, I now have my quick case over the top of my hand warmer. So I can run my hand warmer there. And again, like if I have my gloves rolled up in there, if I want to take my gloves off because now I can put my hands in my quick, or into my uh, hand warmer or something like that, you can run multiple. The bear spray pouch, let's go back to the Molly pouch real quick. The bear spray pouch, because it's a Molly accessory, I can put the bear spray pouch on, it would run horizontally here, and I can place that under here as well. Probably wouldn't run it with two or three at the same time. But if I were to take these off, I could put my bear spray uh, horizontally under here, or I could remove either my rangefinder pouch or my utility pouch and run it vertically here. I could also take either one of these pouches and run those horizontally using the Molly panel as well. So those are the, the, the attachments, this quick rundown of those. The recon itself, I'll just do a quick brief um, overview of this. There are other videos that you can look at this in more detail. 
but we do have a front zippered pouch. There's a little gusset here, so that allows us to extend out a little bit so you can fit more stuff in there. You got tags, a couple lighters, and just the basics. You do have two uh, side wing pockets, so I've got a lens cloth in there. I've actually got my wind checker over here. For the main compartment, it's a simple magnetic closure that'll roll down. It's super quiet, and I can fit my binos in there, obviously. We've got a tether in there if you want to tether your binos so you don't lose them. You can see how quickly and easily I can access that. And then one of my favorite features that we'll talk about real quick here is the adjustment for the lateral straps here. So this is all loose as I'm getting set up here. One of the things that's super frustrating is when you have to pull this back and you can't, so these are actually pull forward. And so once I get it on, I can make a really simple adjustment, make sure that that fits well and I'm good to go. On the back, you'll see that there is some molly webbing on the back panel of the recon. So if you're going out without a pack and you want to throw a small pouch onto the back of the recon or a pouch for a water bladder or something like that, you can quickly use the molly to hook something up on the back there and go out for an ultralight scouting trip or shed hunting or something like that. So there's a lot more that you can do with the recon. It's a great system. There's definitely more videos out there for more information, but I want to give you guys a quick run through of how quick and easy it is to change between the different accessories and set it up perfect for your day out in the field.